So a new name, a new inheritance, a new life. And then those seven testators that were there to will step up and say, yes, I will teach so, so, and so I will teach this new person. Okay. I was Nadia Johnson before. Now, maybe my name is now Stephanie. You know, I will teach Stephanie to walk in this area of governance. So if you relate this to the kingdom realm, the spirit of wisdom is one of the testators and he is sent to govern me in the area of wisdom. We'll go into learning about all the specific um, spirits of God so that you see how they teach you. You see, if you read Revelation, I mean, sorry, if you read Proverbs, you'll be amazed at how she taught them, you know. So knowledge will come and say the same. So in that culture, within that court system, each of these testators will step forward and say, I will do this. I will do this. I will do this. And so that son of the king will be fully equipped in all those areas of governance. So as a son of God, you and I have been assigned this sentient beings to assist us in wisdom, in knowledge, in understanding, in counsel, in might, in the fear of God, in the anointing of the spirit of the Lord. This is what we are called to have. This is what is, they, they make that agreement once you know, just like that, that the whole history of that son was erased in the courts. That is how it is done in the heaven. The blood of Jesus erases all the record of my life, my existence as a natural man. That record, that those sins, all of that is wiped away by the blood of Jesus. That's why I like the scripture that John wrote, read, and how it was so expressive. In saying that his blood cleansed us from all sins, it is what it was. Literally, our record was cleansed away. And so now we are identified with a new last name. Our last name has the name of God attached to it. And so we have this seven spirits of God to govern us. To lead us on. Um, so Zechariah 4.10, please, can you read that? Okay. Uh, Zechariah 4.10. Yes. For who has despised the day of small things? For this seven rejoice to see the plumb lying in the hand of Zerubbabel. They are the eyes of the Lord, which stand to and fro throughout the whole earth. Amen. So other, other scriptures specify that seven is seven eyes. Other translations, sorry, not scriptures. Other translations say, this seven eyes shall rejoice when they see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. So this was God's call upon Zerubbabel's life. And they were looking forward to rejoice. It was a, it was a prophecy that was released that the seven eyes, that we saw, you know, we read, we, we, we read earlier about, <laughs> we read about um, John, John sending us greetings, bringing greetings to the churches from the seven spirits and from Jesus Christ. Now in Zechariah, the, the Lord is telling um, Zechariah that the, se that the seven eyes will rejoice when Zerubbabel is walking in the authority that God has given to him is fulfilling his call and his destiny. They will rejoice. Why? Because they are helping facilitate the fulfillment of God's destiny concerning Zerubbabel. So that is why they will rejoice. I mean, if you don't know, they are the seven spirits of God you're reading and you're like, these seven eyes will rejoice when they see, like, what is seven eyes? Now you know the seven eyes are the seven spirits of God. Amen. And so finally, 2 Chronicles 16, verse 8. Yes, I want you to start from 8. Okay. Yeah. Second Chronicles 16. Yes. And verse 8. Yes, please. Okay. Were not the 
Kushites, Kushites and Libyans, a mighty army with great numbers of chariots and uh, uh, horsemen. Yet, when you relied on the Lord, he delivered them into your hand. Amen. Next verse, please. For the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen uh, those whose hearts are fully committed to him. Hmm. That's perfect. We'll just stop there. Okay. Yeah. Can you guys see the eyes of the Lord again? The eyes of the Lord, they move to and fro the earth. These are the seven streets of God. They are moving to and fro the earth right now. God has sent them to support us, to, to mandate us, to, to uphold us, those whose hearts are committed to him. So they are a part of, no wonder, no wonder greetings will come from them and from Jesus. No wonder they are going to rejoice when the plumb line was in the hands of Zerubbabel. No wonder they are sent out from the throne of God. They are the eyes of the Lord. They run to and fro, seeking the earth, searching for those whose hearts are stayed on the Father. So, right now, where you are in your room, the eyes of the Father are right there with you. Uh, as long as your heart is completely given over to the Lord, you are the son of God and they are here because they have promised the father that they will equip you in all those ways of God in the, in the realm of God's kingdom where there is such wisdom, such knowledge to operating. God wants his kingdom established on the earth. God wants his kingdom established in your life and he has not left you alone on the earth to struggle. You have his eyes right there with you to strengthen, to uphold, to teach you in the ways of God, to govern you as a son of God. Amen. So <clears throat> God is calling you into maturity. And in the days that, you know, we get into, in the, day, in the coming days, we will, we will continue to build on this whole topic. Um, for today... We were, we're going to end it here. And I just want us to get into prayer right now. Yes, God. Father, we just thank you. Hallelujah to you, God. You are greater. You are stronger. You are higher than any other. We thank you for what you have called us to be. For who you have made us to be, God. We continue to find out through scripture that we are more than what meets the eye. That we are much more than we have thought we were. We thank you, God, because you have put so many things in place to ensure that we are tutored right, that we are governed right as heirs onto your throne. You have made every provision to train us in your ways. Where we have walked in the ways of the world and have not been successful in our walk and have failed and have been trampled upon as we have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus. We thank you, God, because all of that nature and that existence has totally been blotted out by the power of your blood. And we thank you, Father, because we are now sons of the King. We belong to a father who owns the entire earth, who, who owns the entire universe. And so we know that we are called for so much more. In this moment, we just want to embrace your eyes. The seven eyes of God, we embrace you. The seven lamps of God, we embrace you. The seven spirits of God, we embrace you. We choose to sit and be tutored of you. We choose to to receive the greetings that come forth, even from you along with the greetings that come from Jesus Christ. We choose 
to have our hearts so completely stayed upon the Lord that we will see the manifestation of your work in our lives, God. We thank you because as sons of the Most High God, there is no discrimination between us. There is no limitation against us. We are victorious. We are conquerors. And we will rule and reign as your children in every area of our being, Lord. Even at their places of work, Lord, for your children here, your, your amazing daughters who are sons of God, Lord, in their, in their families, Lord, we begin to decree that they are ruling and reigning supernaturally for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.